Hey, is everybody excited for Super Bowl Sunday in here? That's no surprise. Of course you are. It's like the Olympics, only better, because that happens every year, and America always wins. Of course, this year, the big game is between the Denver Broncos, a.k.a. the Bronx, and the Carolina Panthers, a.k.a. the Pants. And as soon as the Super Bowl ends, I, Stephen Colbert, will be hosting a special live edition of The Late Show. Are you ready for some show that follows football? <laughs> and even though, even though we're days away from the big show, we're already in the fearsome grip of Super Bowl week. It all kicked off on Monday with Super Bowl Media Day, where the teams meet the press in an orgy of promotional ecstasy, along with, for some reason, people who apparently could not get into Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> for the first time ever, Media Day was moved to the evening, but it was still the same chaos that it always is. There were clowns, superheroes, Miss Universe uh, was even there asking questions and dancing with some of the players. Yes, clowns and superheroes and Miss Universe, marionettes and dark wizards, a thousand screaming peacocks emerging from a golden clamshell, their wings blotting out the very sun. Until finally Peyton Manning entered in a chariot wearing that dress from the Hunger Games. So, a great night for football. It was also really nice to see the guys take this opportunity to speak back to their fans, like Panthers quarterback Cam Newton, who said, We've got numerous guys that have been making an impact and living their dream, and oval-shaped pigskin has taken them a long way. And I tell kids, that oval-shaped pigskin can take you a lot of places. <laughs> How inspiring to think that a young man named Cam made it to the Super Bowl without ever having to learn the word football. <laughs> no one tell him. No one tell him. It's too late. It's too late at this point. Now, all these huge NFL stars giving access to the media reminded me I am also a media. And <laughs> I need to get pumped up for my post Super Bowl show. So I sent my interview strike team to Media Day to ask these players one simple question What do you do to get pumped up for the big show? I put on a tiny crown and I say, who's the prince of football? Me! That's who. I tell my cat that the game is already over and we won. And then I have to go out and win because I can never lie to her. Every day I wake up at 4 a.m. so I can get out there and score some really good deals at garage sales. Nothing else gets me going like paying only $2 for a used crock pot. I look in the mirror and I say, the names of my favorite fans. Cooper, Makaya, Madison, Vivian, Tyler, Zach, Gloria, Alice, Alexis. You gotta always give 110% until you realize that's not actually possible. And then just give 100%. I just think to myself, what would the Harlem Globe Charters do but for football? I pound six cans of seltzer, belch the alphabet, and I'm ready to rumble. I rub my Lucky's rabbit foot, then I put on my socks and shoes so no one can see that one of my feet is a rabbit's foot. Peyton, Charlie, Caroline, Allison, Jasmine, Matt, Adam, Paul, Chris, Tim, Andro. I do it for all the dinosaurs who didn't live long enough to see me play. But I know they're watching in dinosaur heaven. Whenever the coach tells us to take a knee, I say, where do you want us to take it? It always gets a laugh. Jim H, Jim D, Jim the third, Jim the fourth, Jim. When I want to intimidate the other team, I make direct eye contact on the line of scrimmage, and I mouth these words. Owen, Maria, William, Yvette, Greg, Liz, Dan, Ty, Tyrone, Carter, Carl. I look at myself in the mirror and I say, Candyman, three times. And when he appears and tries to kill me, 
I run really fast. <laughs> Auto. Make Eric, Glenn, Emily, Kareem. I like to listen to the Lion King soundtrack before the big game. I mean, can you feel the love tonight? There's just something about two lions doing it that really gets my blood pumping. <laughs>